Good morning. Today is Thursday, February 2nd, 2023. This morning I'm contemplating seriousness. You may perceive that sometimes in my vlogs or presentations on this channel, I may you may perceive me as serious. I'm being serious. Sometimes, though, uh, like I'm, I feel really light and goofy and joyful and silly, and I don't know, I don't know. Maybe more of that will will come through uh, in future sharing. <clears throat> but I wanted to re re contemplate this idea of spiritual seriousness, or seriousness from a spiritual or even emotional perspective. And it's interesting, this is related to the 46th gene key, if you're aware of the gene key synthesis, which is in the SQ, the, sphere, the spiritual intelligence sphere of my hologenetic profile. And the 46th gene key moves from the shadow frequency of seriousness to the gift of delight, to the highest expression of ecstasy. So you can imagine that's quite an emotional range. And I've surely experienced that range. My sense is that seriousness is available to us in so many ways. Think about all the fear and the suffering and the challenge and the heartache and the confusion and the jealousy and the blame and the shame and, you know, all of that sort of heavy, dense stuff. It's all available here to us as spiritual beings having a human experience. And I have experienced it, and I have, I'll even use the word, chosen it, aligned to it, and learned about myself or remembered myself through it. And I'm sure I will continue to do that. But at the same time, I can also recognize that there are higher frequency choices. Like there's nothing in my consciousness that's requiring me to tune in to something heavy or dense or tune in tune into something with a heavy or dense perspective. Do you understand that dynamic? Like the phenomenon that you're experiencing in the world, you actually have the power, the ability within your own consciousness, within your own perspective, to give it all sorts of different meanings. It doesn't have to always be perceived as serious or dense or heavy. And that's sort of what I'm referring to with this concept of choices of consciousness. So it's in a, on a couple of different levels, in a couple, couple of different ways. You can choose your perspective about what you're a witness to and how you inform it with your consciousness. But then you can also, within your own consciousness, ascend to higher dimensions of consciousness that relate to dimensional realities. And if you've been in your spiritual journey for any period of time, I'm sure you've been exposed to these concepts and these words. There's this idea that the human species and the planet, we're, we're entering into 
or we have now made manifest perhaps this fifth dimensional awareness. Uh, and so we're in this transition right now to that higher octave, that higher expression, um, where, and here's the point, some of that dense, heavy, serious stuff may not manifest. I've referenced Paul Selig's teachings in past vlogs, and I will I would like to do so again. Uh, Paul Paul Selig um, is connected to or channels um, a, a group of non-physical guides that refer to themselves have referred to themselves as, as Melchizedek which is uh, an Old Testament, an ancient word that refers to a priestly order. And the teachings have been very helpful for me to understand the dynamics of energy and frequency and manifestation and realization and, you know, all these words and, and help me really ground them and give them meaning in my experience. And one of the things, if you look at or expose yourself to some of his teachings that uh, that is often communicated is this idea of the manifestation of fear and how it has informed our experience here as it has and how the action of fear is to claim more fear. Now, I believe we can all agree that fear is serious. <laughs> when you're feeling fearful, that's like a serious thing, you know, or when you're invited to be afraid, that's a serious situation, right? Dense, heavy, 3D, like really, you get the picture. But through my spiritual journey, and as, and de as I said, definitely through his teachings, I'm beginning to um, achieve awareness at higher dimensions of my consciousness. And at higher dimensions of consciousness, different realities are manifest. So what if, if that, if that idea is true as I just expressed it to you, what if there are dimensions of your awareness, dimensions of your consciousness where some of the dense, heavy, serious stuff simply isn't available. It doesn't manifest there because it cannot. It's too dense. It's too low in frequency, in vibration. This is all very physical, you know? Like, think about the, the physics of the frequency of fear. It's very low frequency, low vibration, low amplitude, kind of, I guess it could be high amplitude. Let's not get into the weeds here. If you're, if you are in alignment to the higher, um, higher dimensions of your consciousness, some of the seriousness and the lower frequency stuff isn't manifest there. Especially not, I mean, you can understand it this way, but it's not in the same way. Lots of things can be re-understood, re-known, re-articulated in a higher frequency awareness. But as you'll learn in Paul Selig's teaching, some things like fear cannot go with you up there because they just simply are too low in vibration. Okay, so I don't know if there's a point to this today. Sometimes I may seem serious, but hopefully sometimes, not always, hopefully I'm not always feeling serious because I really am not. And it has been my intention not to deny the serious aspects of my own journey but to really confront them 
to kind of re-know them from a different perspective. And I've been sharing, wanting to share that with you. And my sense is this is, um, I guess I'm sort of being an exemplar of some of these processes that, um, that we've been offered from some of these teachers. I don't deny the struggle and the challenge and the seriousness and the density and the heartache and the pain. But as I train my frequency into a higher octave of expression, I confront those, the memories of those serious lower frequency, lower vibrational things, and I re-articulate them and re-know them, learn about who and what I am and who and what I have been through those times, through those challenges, through those situations. Is this making sense? I hope so. Let me know if you have any thoughts on it uh, or if it struck a chord with you or anything. Okay. And uh, remember, we don't have to always be so serious. That's really the point. All right. I'll leave this contemplation there for today, and then I'll look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow.